Hello and welcome to Walk the Talk. I am Shekhar Gupta at Delhi's Indira Gandhi International Airport's International Terminal. It's a wonderful terminal and my guest today, the man who built it, Mr. G.M. Rao, chairman of the company that, that is one of India's biggest infrastructure builders. And depending on how you look at the picture, you should either be a deeply satisfied man making a lot of money or a deeply distressed businessman regretting his decision to have done it and yet running a very expensive airport. Some people call it the most expensive airport. So where's the truth? No, Shekharji, two years back we met. I'm with a lot of satisfaction that what a wonderful airport we built. It brought to you proud to India. But after two years now, we made it a very good operational stimulation now. And all the, whatever the baggage handling and op the terminal operations, everything within two years we stabilized this one. And also UMDA compliance, 100% UMDA compliance. And the air side um, also. Um, UMDA is the acronym for your agreement with the government. Yeah, yes. government. And also in air side also, all the three runways is operating now. Right. And this hanging over is very uh, come down. And completely the you IT mean, uh, system uh, circling over circling there, is yeah. come down now. Right. The whole operations. And I think once your uh, new ATC terminal comes up, it'll be yeah, it will be here. The baggage on 99.5 percent is uh, completely stabilized. And one more thing is made. Which, which is unlike what happened at Terminal Five in London. Yeah. And also at recently, Heathrow. NCR has made a study how the impact of the economic impact for the Delhi and also for the nation. This is a very good impact, the study they made it. The GDP of the for country, 0.49%, this, this Indian uh, uh, Delhi airport is giving impact. And also for, uh, the, for the Delhi, the GSTP is giving almost 13.3% is giving so, the so GDP. So this has made more. a contribution to Delhi. And also it is a 1.6 million uh, jobs is providing now. Almost 60 lakhs jobs is providing. That is the, all the good things happen. The other side, what happened last two years or last 16 and, 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 we and, lost. And, and, and you did not lose hundreds of baggages as, no, no, as no. T5 did in Heathrow. No, no, that is a very wonderful thing. The day itself, the baggage is stabilized. In fact, that gave British Airways a new name, baggage afterwards. <laughs> but fortunately, but we, the whole credit goes to my GMR team. Right. The way they put the, the no, no, I, I think as far as the uh, operational base. efficiencies are concerned, nobody should, uh, at least, we, as a, as a frequent user, uh, I will say there's no doubt. I can say that this is very high-tech, uh, high-tech uh, uh, airport. All the water, the latest technology we use in this. But what happened last five, eight, 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 two years, we lost almost 16 airports. We lost at, uh, this because what happened, the regulatory framing itself is it took it for three years. That's ARB. Is, uh, you know, it, uh, era. Era, yes. era. Era, era, uh, regulatory. Because of the, it's not at the one year, in the, uh, the formation of the regulatory. So after that, we are the first customer to ERA regulatory. Right. And we are the, because the first customer, they have to make a regulations, policies, and this is a very complex uh, project. And they have to understand, they have to take the consent of the stakeholders. The whole thing has taken to another two years. The control period of five years, the total, the, any tariff increases control period five years. Because of three years delay, the whole thing they have taken a what of the tariff increase that they given in two years. So it is you, because you got of the forty-five percent tariff increase. It upsets a lot of people. Yeah, but uh, no, it, it, what I'm, that's why I'm saying it doesn't it look is, good even to yeah, me. Yeah, no, instead of five years, uh, this one, when you compact for two years, it will normally will increase. It is increased to three forty-eight percent. Suppose the same thing before one year, if you do it, hmm. it will come down to below hundred percent. Because and also I don't want blame so, uh, so, so you, because so of you have, the you have to collect in two years what should have been collected in five. Yeah. But the regulatory new for this one. We are the first customer, new to the country, for right. new to us. Right. Stakeholders are new. The all things happened. But recently, regulatory is given. Uh, uh, May they are given the regulatory this one. The one thing, whatever comment is there, you say costly airport. It's not a costly airport when compared to in the world. It's not a costly airport. And if you remove the ADF, will be their last out of the I think lowest in a ADF port. Is airport one. development charge. Fair charge. That if you remove after 11 months, you will remove that, it will be come down. So after the 11 other, months, this, this will go away. Yeah. And also one more thing I want to say that, if you go for the next control period, it will come down, it won't increase. After another two years, it will be another control period, five years will come, it will come down. It won't be same uh, tariff won't be there. So what are the uh, what are the challenges you face now economically? Because you know, obviously, uh, the profits that were anticipated or incomes haven't quite come. Uh, there's a there's a slowdown in the economy. There's a slowdown in traffic. But what else has happened? 
No, actually, I want to tell you, even though we have a, the financial problem, we never defaulted to any that I banks, know. airport authority yeah. or anything. Yeah. We are paying, and also we not compromise the service also. Uh, we never compromised with all these things. One more thing I, I forgot to tell you, the best part of last two years, we got a 30 awards, best awards in this one. All international awards, we got it. We got a, earlier, when you take note the airport, 106 is the airport in the ranking. Right. Today, second best airport, we got it. Besides that, in the world, uh, in the world, 32 uh, countries they came here to see the, uh, the how the airport we built. They came here and, and visited, and this is very good for the country. It's becoming like a brand. This and, one, and, it, and it, it's it's a good thing to have on your own company CV because you are getting airport contracts. No, I know it, it's not for countries. This is I think it, it is brought to the pride to the country because you you're, you're, you're it's building a brand a, for the India. You're building one in Istanbul. You're building one in Malay. Yeah. We are Istanbul and the Malay also we are building, all, all the operations also stabilized. I can say that we are the, the I agree with you, we, we developed with all humility I say we are the one company we can design, build, operate, maintain in the airport sector in the world. We, and we you are, are building for the new Bombay airport as well? No, whenever it is open, we are ready to open, we are ready to bid for that. You, you have uh, expressed your interest in that? Yeah, but uh, it has not come to that stage Right. Now. India's number one news app just got even better. Download NDTV's new app. Fully optimized for retina display. Full screen view. Faster response time. And Sudoku. NDTV's new iPad app. Download now.